All right, we are back for part two of my A True Villain arc. So I'm here with A True Hero, aka Cairo, uh, and we are playing his deck that he used to get third place with me and Stango at the Gladiators of Edison tournament. And the only change is that there is a main deck Mind Crush, and the Phoenix Wing Wind Blast is no longer in the main deck. So currently, right. the only way to discard Malicious to the Graveyard is Greffer, but it seems to be reliable enough, and then obviously Future Fusion and stuff like that. So, and, um, you know, it's really funny, right? Because I'll just touch on that. We spoke on it in part one, but ever since I topped Deck Devastators 3, more people have been playing Diva Heroes, yes, right? That is At the beginning back. of this year, Diva Hero was non-existent. It was and I played it, it's considered I, a dead deck. Literally everybody started playing it afterwards, right? Now, the thing is, the other Diva Hero decks that have been topping, such as Libido, and there was also another guy who went like falsely 9-0 at a uh, YCS. And the reason why I say falsely is because he won three side events, right? So technically he did go 9-0, but by saying like he went 9-0, it's a little bit misleading. Yeah, that's Because not... when you play in a tournament, right, your opponents get more and more difficult. But the problem with three different side events is like after three rounds, like the difficulty resets, yeah. you know? But regardless, the point that I'm trying to bring is both Libido, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I never heard the pronu correct pronunciation. And also this other Diva Hero player that went like 9-0 is both of them played triple wing blasts. Both of them. And I just think that is not correct. Now, I understand, like, uh, you know, playing one or maybe even playing two because, like, it it is good when it resolves successfully. But three is just too much. And I was watching the video where Keegan was piloting one of those decks, and his opening turn, he got double wing blast. And I was like, this is why that is terrible. Like, you don't want to open up multiple of that card. And it's just, like, it's only good when it resolves when you're pitching a Plague, Treeborn, or Malicious. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, this That's it. this deck, uh, I do want to give it a try. The builds that they played, where it's like triple triple wing blast, and I think they were playing upstart. I saw somebody playing triple upstart. Yes, that's right. That's uh, correct. That was the uh, uh, YCS one. Yes, I do want to give that a try. Just just because I like trying different things, because you never know what you might learn from other people. Like I used to be very close minded when I used to play competitive Yu Gi Oh. And that helped in times because sometimes people just poison a well. Like there are some genuinely bad ideas and they come from good people. So <laughs> I've been, I've gone to YCSs and played decks that were just straight up bad. One of them, and I've talked about this on the podcast before, but one of the decks that I played that was so bad is my good friend and I love him to death, Alistair Constantine, topped many YCS with me and everything. There was a YCS in Toronto, I believe in 2012, where Josh Graham won. And Alistair convinced everybody in our hotel room that we should play windups, but without windup factory and that we should, what? yes. And that we should <laughs> replace the windup factories for thunder Kings. And we all played the deck and obviously it did not go well. And like, that's the definition of poisoning the well. Like that is, that is poison. Cause it came from a good player. Like he is very good at the game. He got second against Billy break at a YCS in Columbus when Billy break did his, uh, back to back. he, He's topped a bunch of events, like he's done a bunch. So it came from a person who I respected, who I tested with and everything. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Thunder King is pretty good against Windups because it stops the Synchro, or not Synchro, it stops the Xyz plays and it stops Windup Factory. And if we don't play Windup Factory, then it won't conflict. It was a terrible idea. You just want your Windup deck to just do Windup things and you don't give a fuck about shutting off somebody's plays or whatever. Like that, leave that for the Dino Rabbit decks that were around at the time. So yeah. Yeah. that was an example of Poison. And it made me very jaded to just trying other people's ideas for the most part. But I think with Edison and having so many decks, because Edison is probably the only format that has this many actual decks that can like all compete. I'm not saying they're all on the same level, of course, because that's why tier lists exist, but they're, they are able to beat you. Like you can lose to anything. You can lose the ancient gears. You can lose the glad beast. You can lose the flamvel. You can lose to literally anything in this format. And that is an interesting thing because most formats after this, like the decks become very streamlined, very consistent, very powerful. Uh, and there's usually not many of them. Anyways, enough of that Ooh. rant though. I yeah, am going to just play this deck as is. And then maybe on my channel, I'll try out one of those ones that was played in the side events, the three round side events at the YCS yep. to see how triple wing blast, triple upstart. I will say this. When McCabe gave me Diva Hero a while ago, and even when he was playing at an AU, my, our locals, he played Triple Upstar Goblin. And I've been thinking about that for Diva Hero ever since because McCabe is very smart and he's really good at deck building. That is just undeniable. Literally, when he topped the PS5 tournament a couple weeks ago or like a month ago now, um, 
everyone started playing Gladbys that week. Like everybody, right. you went on Dueling Book and everybody was playing McCabe Gladbys. He like resurrected it. Like you resurrected Diva Hero, he resurrected <laughs> Gladbys. And that's the reason why I play two Gladbys rounds one and round two at Gladiators of Edison. So fuck McCabe, yeah. but he's yeah. good at deck building. And I do think that Upstart makes sense in theory because this deck needs to draw specific pieces in order to function. So the smaller it is, the overall better it is. But we will, we will visit that at a later point. Actually, I mean, we could go ahead and get in some games. I'll talk about Upstart a bit. So yeah, you can talk about it while I'm, because we have to wait anyway for somebody to come in. So as many of you may know, I have tested Diva Hero longer than anybody. I've been playing this deck so much. And in my beginning stages of playing Diva Hero, actually, I played Triple Upstart. Now, it might be time to revisit it because the format has changed a lot since then. Yeah, speed but one matters. Problem that Yes. But one problem that I noticed with Triple Upstart is you draw into cards that you don't want to draw in. Oh, More often that's than true. cards you do want to draw in. And also, the other problem is uh, even though Diva Hero is an OTK deck, it doesn't put out like as much damage as Dragons that can easily pump out like 10,000 damage, right? Absolute Zero just puts out like just enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, but. Like 8,000 or 8,500, maybe yeah, 9,000. Yeah, but. Colossal Armory Arm. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God, not again! Yeah, right. We definitely did not want to play against frogs. We just oh played against frogs. My God, part one, but we, bro, I'm about to quit. Just can't them. I'm not even gonna lie. Honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you just quit just for the sake of the video. I mean, this hand's decent, but like you know, I wouldn't blame you. I would not blame you. Oh my God. Man, that's crazy. Like of all the different decks, you were just talking about how there's so many different decks in Edison format. And yeah, we just we played are against dead, this, and it took an hour. I don't want to do this shit again. Yeah, save. I want to play against save. stuff that actually sets traps, so I can make reads and do stuff like that and interact. This is not a very it, like frogs are broken, but it's not interactive. Right, they're playing solitaire, and it's it, funny because <laughs> this is similar to how we opened up before as well, where we had our dead heavy and like we couldn't utilize it. I think we also had a lure last time as well because we were waiting on a target to a lure. Yeah, we might just have to let them know. Sorry, man. Yeah, I'm just quitting. Yeah. We gotta we gotta play something different. Like uh Yeah, I just wanna play a deck that actually interacts with my opponent and won't take right. like even if it takes an hour, I'm I'm fine with that if it's a deck that just actually sets fucking back rows Ooh. and stuff. Oh, I played against this Ooh, guy in the tournament, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right, and we get to go first this time too. Uh, nice. Let's see if you're gonna say you two. I'm just gonna put you two. He might not even say, like, this is too long for GLHF. He's probably going to be like, oh, I'm a fan of the content or something right. like that. Well, All right. Or nothing. I'm a fan of the content. You too. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I told you he's going to say something about YouTube. Oh, man. Oh, uh, here oh, we go. All shit. right, Boomer Duelist. Ooh, baby, come on. Come on, give me the, the mind crush. No. Okay. All right, so obviously Stark here. There's only one target. I think we're both here. Yep, that's right. it. Yeah, because then our hand is dead otherwise. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, we just pass. So what do you think? Are you thinking first turn flip? Or are you thinking waiting? Oh, I love waiting. All right, we're waiting. We're we're a doctor in the. Oh no! Who shade? Do, wait, 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 wait! And put on the thinking face. Put on the thinking face, because there's merit to chaining dust shoot here, right? Because if he doesn't have a a, a dark, like you chain dust shoot, and then it resolves backwards, and you right. get rid of his dark, All right? Because right, he could just get fucked. Okay, he has multiple darks, so he's good. You, he's good. You are not a real person. Yo, but like, there's definitely like merit to doing that anyway. So, uh, his cyber dragon's dead. He's probably going to set the Koichi uh, and Caius. Oh, boy. These are all really annoying targets right now. I'm putting but I think we to Koichi. Okay, cool. I was just about to say. That's, you agree, right? Yeah, I yeah, agree. I don't, I don't feel like dealing with that. Because we can't stop it. So he's definitely going to get a plus off of that. 
Yeah, I don't like the idea of him guaranteeing a plus. And we only have to deal with one Caius, because he's more than likely going to banish a Caius here. Yeah, like, especially after what we just did, so. Yeah. Okay, that's yep. one. All right, so we're playing an interesting deck, the Black Salvo deck. So he sets Dust Shoot, obviously. And this works out perfectly because we drew the Diva. So we could go, okay, yeah. The Dust Shoot, he'll probably set back the Diva, which is okay. Yeah, I don't care what he returns. If he returns yeah, Gore, like Yeah. If, if he, he returns yeah. Gore, that's okay too because we saw his hand, right? I don't, he can't I don't know why hand. people do this. Stop returning Gores with Dust Shoot. Bye, Gores. It's so bad to do that. Oh, we're in a great situation. Now we just wait. We can either set Mirror Force or not. I don't think it matters in this situation because he's not going to OTK us. I'm okay with just passing because uh, he's not dropping 8,000. Next turn, we get uh, uh, Future Fusion, and we can drop out a lot of damage. We can pop out a lot of damage. You know, assuming we don't draw the malicious. Yeah. Uh, what deck is he playing? Black Salvo, right? Yeah, we really don't know. I mean, yeah. Um, hmm. The reason why, so I'll I'll let you voice your opinion, but the reason why I want to wait is because I want to set the Stardust behind a Mirror Force. I mean, I want to set the Mirror Force behind a Stardust. Yeah. But what, what are you thinking about? Just potentially dying? No, I just or think that whenever that? people are playing some weird shit, I just, I, I'm i scared of like Arabellum and all that kind of nonsense. I don't okay. know. I, yeah. I, it's Copium. That's why I said Cat, because I was thinking about that too, right? Yeah, it's, ca- it's Copium goes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. But he's playing Dekoichi, so I don't know what that means. Right. I feel you. I feel you. Well, if he doesn't have any back rows, he's... Well, well, that's... Actually, you have game. Are you serious? That's, yeah, if he has a level 4 monster set, it's game. Oh, okay. Say that part. Yeah. So I should check it then. Yeah, you should check it. If it's a level 4 monster, it's game. All right. But I'm assuming that that's a Dekoichi. That's what I'm going to assume. But... You know, if it's a Raikou, whatever, it's fine. If it's a hamster, then he loses. Oh, my yeah. God. All right, so that's game. You win. You literally won in one turn. Now, personally, personally, before, it's a little too late now, but before I... Yeah, yeah, yeah we should have played Future Future, but I got excited. Right, right. Also, I'm going to be honest, I really hate the way Dueling Book handles giving control of a face down monster. The fact that yeah. I can't see it once I control it and you have to, like, kind of flip it, that made me literally like flip it and put in attack mode think that I had to do it right there where in real life I would just look at it and be like okay it's the Koichi play future for you yeah. know what I mean yeah but I agree but, but anyway yeah. yeah so this is if he doesn't have Gores or Trigodia yep this guys welcome to the Diva Hero OTK so you know if you've been following me for a bit you already know what the Diva Hero OTK is it's basically level 6 level 8 absolute 0 game don't you want me, baby? Don't you, Don't want... you want me, baby? Another diva, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I feel kind of bad for him. Uh, so right now, the level eight that you make depends on the level six that you make, right? So Goyo I don't think Stardust really... uh, zero. Uh, Goyo Stardust zero is not going to be game. Goyo Stardust zero. Oh, that's that's two hundred short. Yeah. Uh, but uh I mean you can make Goyu uh Call Goyu is twenty eight. Yeah. What it, what is Stardust Brio? No, that's still not game. Stardust Brio and he is Cyber Dragon Caius. He's not getting another turn, first of all, let's be clear. I will make yeah. fucking Goyo Colossal Fighter zero if I have to. I don't care. I'll believe. Yeah, I mean I'm pretty sure up. Goyu Colossal Fighter Go you Colossal Fighter Zero is game, but check the grade for Warriors. It'd be 29, 28, 25. So just pull up a calc real fast. I'm pretty sure that's game. Yeah. 29 plus 28 is 57 plus 25 is 82. So that's game. Uh, okay. Are there any like, <laughs> are there any better? Uh, there's no way to do this with Stardust. Is that is that how this works? There's no, no way- there's no way to do this with Stardust. Okay. Unfortunately, no. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because the bets you could do would be Stardust, Brio, Zero, and Zero would get the extra pump, but that's still not game. It'd be 25, 23, and 3,000, which is yeah. 78. Yep, 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 yep. 
But I mean, you have return, so banish malicious and plague. I mean, yeah, diva and malicious. Oh right, shit! Cool game. Yeah, like I said, we dust shooted him, so we knew he didn't have wars. I mean, he could have allured and pulled into it. But... A bitch with no ass. Yeah. You ain't. All right, so I mean, shit. against these like rogue decks, it's kind of like weird. What do you side for? Um, I personally would drop one Kais and put in Vanities, but if you want to keep in triple Kais, that's fine too. Like I'm, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm definitely with it. Um, uh, I'm gonna remove this, and I'm gonna remove these. I'm gonna be honest with you. You gonna be honest with me? Yeah, I'm just being honest. That's all. Let's be honest, baby. Let's be honest. And then he was playing Cyber Dragon, the Koichis. Yeah, no. Let's be honest, baby. Uh, hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll do this. I just want to. I want a very proactive deck going second. I want to be Ooh. proactive, like an acne I'm cleanser. It. I'm with it. I'm with it. We didn't open up the mind crush dust shoot. That's all I want. One time for the fans. Yeah, I'm keeping it going second. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's so funny though because like he just didn't even get to play. <laughs> he didn't no, get he didn't. to play. He just got yeah. completely invalidated. <laughs> like, that's just. You know, that happened in my tournament set when we were playing in the 3v3. The guy just didn't get to play. Like, It'd be like that. All right, okay, well. He oh. gets to play this game. Yeah, he does get <laughs> to play. He gets to play all of it. Oh, this uh, we can't take two of his monsters in synchro with it, but, like, yeah, it's yeah. cool. If we're lucky he goes, like, set to Koichi. Yo, are you with it? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it, Frazier? Like, you mean take it? Yes, with the mind control. We're up we're a game, so I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck? I don't give a fuck either. I don't give a fuck either. I'm saying it's a Dekoichi. And hell, even if it's a Rykel, we'll hit that back row. Oh, he's going to rage. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes! Yes! The pluses, baby! Yes! <laughs> oh, my God. This that's guy's going to kill me. He's going to murder my family. Crazy. All right. Um, so here we go. Yeah, you're pride. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, King. So obviously we have one of two choices, either summoning Diva or summoning Plague. I think in this case, summoning Plague is better. Yeah, because... I was like, I think summoning Plague is better. My hand's so bad. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, Not well. to mention, like, later, if we have Plague in the Grave, we can stack the Spine Gilman and then, like, summon Diva and, like, our Diva becomes live. So it works out better. All right, what you thinking, King? Go you or Brio? It's giving. I'm thinking. Goyo. I was gonna say it's giving big Goyo energy right now. I don't like throwing yeah, my Brios out until they're until they're like ripe, you know. That's right. That's right. Until they're necessary. Yeah. You know. Oh shit. Oh well. You know how my deck does against this card. Yeah, I did not so, prepare or side for this at all. Nope. And you took out the gold Sark, so it's going to be a long time before we see heavier MST. I did not prepare for this. All right, we're going into Gilman Beatdown. Uh, yes, we are. And hopefully we oh, get... Uh, hopefully, yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. I know where this is going to go. I'm going to attack that. I mean, if you pull Kaius, though, you're also in a good situation, right? So yes. the deck has triple Kaius, so it's not like we're completely out of the, you know, Yeah, we're not game. in a shitter yet, but... All right, so we're just going up against a Chaos deck. All right, yeah, seems about right. Don't just seems about right, this. <laughs> seems about right. Summon, attack, honest. <laughs> He's just like, I don't even want you to have that. No, he has DD Warrior Lady. <laughs> She's going to drop this honest on us. and be like, you know what? You better have it. You had better have it. All right, the good thing about her is that brain control, like, ruins her. Right. That's true. So if he puts her out and then at any point puts a second monster out, I can get rid of both with just brand control. Ooh. Ooh, baby. You talking about pluses. Mm hmm You talking about pluses. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Should have known. Should have known better. Yeah, at least we're not starving for waters. But we don't have any heroes, right? No. Yeah. Feels all right. 
Feels alright. Feels alright. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just. I'm gonna, yeah. Set the force pass pretty much. But probably some of DD Warrior ladies start attacking and we just kind of take it. Yep. Because, like you said, there's no point in uh, doing anything to that hoe. I'm gonna take it till I can't take it anymore. Literally. Oh my god. How do you play this deck? Yeah, right? How do I? Well, for one, <laughs> I wouldn't have signed out my gold sarks because of shit like this, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I'll have you know, I haven't drawn any of the cards that I sided in, so you would not have your Gold Sarks either. Just so you know. If you look at, if look at all the cards. Look at everything. I said fair enough. All, all Listen, right. I said all, fair enough. All right. All right. Okay. I said fair all right. enough. All right. But that could have been, that could have been a Gold Sark. No, it could right? have. No, it could have. <laughs> it could have been a fucking Dust Sark. It could have been something. <laughs> I that could have been something. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She's going to kill me. Yeah, she just might. Funny. Um, do I do this now? No, uh, I, guess I, I think so. I don't, I don't need to actually. He's probably just going to okay. attack again. Yeah. How 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 long are we going to let? Because I got brain control too. We, well, we got to take it one more time. If you're this far in, we got to take it at least one more time. You are wild. All right, you mirror force. I'm taking it one more time. I'm taking it one more time. And then from that point on, now we got to. Okay, look at that. Finally, but finally, don't act like this is good. Yeah, I mean, it's not, but it's a play. It's finally a play that we can do. Finally, a play I think I we... think after playing Diva Hero like today, I played it a lot today. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do my own take on this deck. OK, I'd, I'd like to see it. Uh, so hear me out. Uh, I know you might be thinking of adding uh, Prodigy. But another option is adding malicious and end phase, just dropping it. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> you're you're something. Uh, okay. Right, I mean, what are what are the other cards that you're going to do right now? I was never adding prodigy to begin with because I have brain control on this. But like, it's okay. just funny that you. I didn't think of dropping it though. Like that didn't that didn't come to my mind. Uh, if I'm being honest, but I, I don't think it's a bad play either. Like I don't think you're you're wrong for doing that. He's four. But he has 10 cards to my 10 cards. Oh, wow, we're even. Look at that. Yeah. And he went first, so I'm happy to be even. Even though I went my control with the Koichi, but he went my control with Cyber Valley. Yeah, huh. so at this point, it's... I don't think I'm attacking that waters. bitch. That's what I was just about to say. It's Muddy Waters. Muddy Waters. Call me silly. Yeah. Like, I don't think this game is winnable. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't think this game is winnable because of stuff like that. Oh, there's so many Kaisas. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just game. Yeah. His hand's, his hand's not even that good. That's the sad part. Yeah. He has all those cards, but his hand's not even that good. Yeah. It's good enough to win, but... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just admit defeat. That was. Right, we gotta put in those dust. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Let's see. What are we taking out? You can take out tomato because tomato's not good against uh. Yeah. So he's playing. And how do you feel about? Go ahead. How do I feel? Okay. Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, it's funny. You kind of just answered the question. I was like, "How do you feel about pulling the rug?" And then you said he's playing a Kai instead. You just he every game we played him, he has had two Kaias. I mean, he's played triple Kaius for sure. Every game we've played against this guy, he's had two Kaius. Like, no question. This card is staying right where it is. All right, it's staying. It's uh, staying. The rest yeah, of Crow is... doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, Bottomless is ass. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Econ seems pretty ass. I just want to make sure. So, go through this. Okay, it looks yeah. good to me. Yeah, everything yeah. else looks good. Can I get a game with like a deck devastation virus or something? Like, can I get? It's so funny because we haven't pulled that once, nor have we pulled Mind Crush. We've never pulled any of those cards. Yeah. Yet. And like our deck's forty cards, and we search and we thin out, but like we've never gotten them. I just want like, I don't know, one game where Are I get to do. I just I want to do cool shit. 
I want you to do cool shit too, King. I want the world to see. I mean, game one was ignorant as hell. How do you play this deck? Hi, Frazier, I don't know. I mean, obviously, you only got one play. You just do nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wait a second. I, we, we can talk. So how was your day? What, is it, what time is it in Korea? So, so actually, over here in Korea, it's new. Yeah, it's yeah new that's day. right. Oh, I'm so happy you finally are understanding. Of, one hour you know, ahead. And uh, there, I switched to PM to AM. So, and well, actually, this is the one scenario where it's the same. it actually stays the same. That's cool to think about. So if it's 11 PM, it just becomes 12 PM. But normally if it was like 10 PM over here, it would be 11 AM for you. That's right. Uh, That's exactly right. This is the one time where there's an exception. Yeah. But I mean, life in Korea, it's good. I got a, I got a busy day after this uh, recording. Cause I got some spice coming up for my next video. Some ice spice, baby, some ice spice. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, we know he has a Dekoichi set, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm about to say Solomon. Still Solomon. I'm not even going to lie to you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you're trolling me or not. Like, <laughs> hey, what? Uh, right, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to discard Malicious and pass. Yeah, right. <laughs> Feels so It's so bad, funny, man. right? Because it's drawing so bad. But guys, don't forget, this is the deck that went 7-1 twice. <laughs> this is it. so bad, man. How, how did he do it? <laughs> how did he do it? Oh, my God. Not drawing like this, I'll tell you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. He probably has a Caius, but I mean... Yeah, well, you, you know he has a Caius. <laughs> He's playing Caius on deck. All right, do you remember where she is? Oh, yeah, you found her so fast. Yeah, now I know. So, my control? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Get your pluses. Cyber Valley actually is another card that I thought about using for a Diva Hero as well. And not because of the banished effect, but because of its other effects too. Like to put cards back on top of your deck and things like that. Yeah. No one ever really utilizes those effects. And I think that's kind of like underused. Anyway, so here, I mean, our best play is summoning Caius. But what it comes down to is do we want to have you storm or not? That's a good question. Because um, one problem that we have to worry about, and I know you have already thought of this, is of course Gores. Because our hand 100% cannot handle Gores now. Yeah. If he drops a Gores on us, then we we lose. Like we just lose, right? Yep. Uh, but at the same time, if our Kai's play doesn't go through, like if it falls for like a bottomless or something like that, we don't lose, but we're in such a sour position because none of the cards in our hand do anything. Yep. Oh, Lord. This deck is too stressful. I, I don't think I could ever. Well, <laughs> this is this is this is. I'm just not used to this. I'm not used to this. I haven't played this deck in so long. It's been over a year, and like today, I've had very good swings, and then I've had things like this that are just like, what is this? Another play is, and this guards around Gores is there's brain control, attack with DV warrior lady, set malicious. The problem with that is it takes out all of our level 8 synchros for the rest of the game. Not all, but it'll be a lot harder to make level 8 synchros because we're more than likely run over Malicious next turn. But it does guard against Gores. So there's a couple plays. I don't like that play. Oh, Stango's here. Yeah, we're still recording, man. But you're welcome to jump in in the chat. But I don't like that play because it uses brain control. And I think like the way our hand is now, we need to keep as many power cards as we can. Yeah, the other play is to turn this token to attack and crash into DD War Lady. That's right. That's right. Um, and then I just keep running so me control personally, Caius. So me personally, I'll tell what I would do, but I'll let you do it because, you know, I'm curious, you know, what you would do. But me personally, what I would do is I'm heavying and I'm sacking for Caius because uh, I'm not worried about using heavy because his deck doesn't play that many spells yeah, and traps. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. All, right. So it's just like this heavy is probably not going to get more than like a one for two. So I don't mind heavying. And like at this point, like if he just has gores, like, it just sucks, like that you just had it. But yeah. like, there are times to play around Gorus, and there are times not to play around Gorus. And I think, like, based off of our hand, like we just we have to make a push. But that's what I think. But I'm ready, you know, to watch what you do. Okay, so I I wanted to go turn to attack and just crash and then pass. But I I want to I want to try to play this your way because we're on your channel anyway. So let's see what happens. 
Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That that's is a good a, one that to is hit. Actually, a good one. Okay. And hopefully, that means that he doesn't have gores. Hopefully. That's true. Actually, he should not have gores right here. Like in theory, I should be able to attack and not get fucking gores right here. Yep. Hopefully. Because setting that was wild. Okay. Cool. So yeah, it worked out. It worked out. Yeah. That is the play that I have would have went with. And now, if you draw a diva or a plague, you just doggy on him. You just fucking go ham. Donkey on a dick. Anyone donkey on a dick. All right, so he's gonna go for a Kai's play of his own. Yeah, get to get that bad boy ready. Get that bad boy ready. Damn, where's your pull in the rug? You didn't have to pay thirty two fifty. Yeah, I did. <laughs> where's your pull in the rug? That shit was free. Okay. You ever played one time? Ah, uh, unfortunate. And there's no waters, right? No. No, Cairo, there aren't. Alrighty then. All right. Okay, so, uh, what are you thinking? I definitely need to defend myself. Okay, yep, that's why I asked, what are you thinking? Because now at this point, we lose to brain control. Yes. Um, I'm setting Miracle yeah. Fusion and Infernal Prodigy, if I'm being completely honest. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't think he has heavy because he would have played it on uh, last so turn. Yes. Because that Cyber Dragon, Kai's play was crucial, so I don't think he has back row destruction. Yep. Uh, and at this point, we already used our gores, so we don't need to worry about you know protecting anything, so I'm with yep. it. With. I mean, brain control Kai is actually still kills us, but like, you have to have it. And he has had double Kai's every single game. But, like, again, you, you fucking better just have it, bro. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I actually kind of like the Chaos deck. Me too. It's a deck that I kind of... Okay, well, there's the brain control. So annoying. Okay, look, that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. So, I mean, he can make Dark End here. Yeah. Uh, and that would, that's fine because then we can Brain Control because we won't be outside of Brain Control with a Dark End attack. Okay, and he's making Thought Ruler, which actually is, is good really for him. Good. Yes. Good for him. Good for him. That's three darks, right? It is. <laughs> Dark on one time. Or Diva one time. Or that. Oh, he's he's worried about the dark arm. <sighs> yeah. Little does he know. Yeah, little does he know. All right. So let's see. We have one play. Let's not. Yeah. God, this deck. This deck is very frustrating to play. Because I'm not losing to myself. I'm just losing to like my deck just sucking. I told you there's two things it loses to. <laughs> it loses to Diva Hero and it loses to Royal Pressure. It's In game really, two, really it's frustrating. Game three, we're losing against Diva Hero. Okay, so yeah. Um, we did get a Water Monster, thankfully. So now our Miracle Fusion is live. You can set and play Miracle Fusion, right? Yes, you can. Yes, okay. you can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this this is a fucking joke. I know because if we just had like a little bit more life points, we actually win. If Brain Control was still live, even though he has Thought Ruler, we just win. No, why is that? Well, I mean, uh. We have brain control, burn them for a thousand. We have thought, uh, mind control, burn them for a thousand. I mean, zero doesn't beat over him, but yeah, I mean, we don't technically win that turn, but yeah, we're in a much better position. Hmm. Oh man. I mean, I guess I have to set this and play Miracle Fusion. Like, right. The only it's that or set this and be like, 
or pass, set that and pass, or set that and play Miracle Fusion. Yeah. The thing is, uh, I'm pretty sure the way this works is if his Thought Ruler runs over zero, he does get to gain uh, zero's attack, which is really annoying. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of like Shura. A lot of people don't yeah, know. Yeah, because like, he'll be turn player. His will be chain link one. Mine will be chain link two. I don't think it really matters what. I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters how you do it. If I crash into him and mine is chain link one and his is chain link two, it's still the same. Like, it's going to happen no matter what. Yep. Um, yep. Very annoying. So. I don't think I attack, though. He used brain control already. And okay. there's no clean way to to get to get the thing off the field without losing his field. Right. So I think I just like put zero in defense and then pray. Okay. I'm with it. I mean it's either that or just set treeborn and pass. Like those are your only two options. Yeah, set tree more pass. Is, set tree more pass is not bad. Oh, uh, let me see. Set tree more pass might be to play. Because the thing is, the way I see it is this: if he has another monster, if he if we don't if we do the zero play, we're gonna lose because he's gonna be at his life points will be so high, and like our hand's already not good, so it's like it'll be hard to get him down from that high point of life points yeah. to game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and at this point, like, yeah, cool. I don't think he's gonna commit anything to the field because he's worried about you know trap cards. Right. He should know. So least, he should have perfect knowledge, in my opinion, though, based on the way things have gone. All right. Okay, that's helpful. That's very helpful. Right, I need that face down monster. Have to deal. Yeah, and you gotta hope it's a Raikou or a Dokoichi. Yes, I need it. I need to see what it is. I wonder what his back row is. Oh, he has a plague too. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that he had a plague too. <laughs> yeah. So he just like maybe because he's playing so passive, it'll give us give us a chance. Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's target. He's probably sick of me doing this. If he starts typing in the chat, it's at the Koichi. Yeah, it's not this time. Oh, it's the elk. Elk. Okay. Um does this matter at all? Uh it doesn't do anything for us. Uh it can set up our return. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, like if I flip it. Activate effect. And then. Yeah. Okay. So I guess. I, hope that we hit a monster. You said what? I said we got to hope we hit a monster with uh, the Alk. Yeah. All right. So activate Miracle. See what he does. Yeah. He could have another crow, but like, I mean, you fucking. You got it at that point. Yep. Summon in defense, I'm guessing. Yeah, because we're not, we can't beat over Thought Ruler. Yeah. But like, we don't want to crash because then that leaves us wide open. What yeah. we can do also, we did a normal summon, so we can also sack for Malicious. But let's flip up D out first to see what we hit. Okay. Uh, declare effect, banish top. Caius. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, our choice now is to either end or sack zero for malicious. Now, look at his grave real quick. See how many darks he has and things like that. All right, he has three darks. He has plague. So the problem is, if he has a level four monster, he just wins the game, right? So that's the, you know. What do you mean? How does, I mean, he, win? Have how does he win the game if he has level four? Uh, he'll stack and make brio. Like we have return, but like you're at saying, that point, if we return, tribute for malicious, right? Yes. Yes. Well, if yeah. we trip you for malicious, he he automatically wins because we pass back D elk. Yeah, and that's also true too. So that's, that's just that's too. just so we can't do that. Okay, so then our only play is just a hope and a prayer. Yes, which it always was. Um, <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? Because I said both. <laughs> no, I'm laughing back because you said it always was. Like, damn. It's I always mean. Been a hope. This game is AIDS. This game is pretty AIDS. All right. Yep. Declare. Nope. Not, not you losing 2,500, my guy. You gain. Yes. Oh. 
Ugh. All right, we still need a tutor. If we get a tutor, we can literally win the game. This is chain like one is thought ruler. Your turn player, so chain like one is thought ruler. Chain like two is zero. This is not optional. This is mandatory. Chain yep. link one, chain link two. That's broken, actually. That's the I mean, tutor. I, Damn it. I mean, all right. So, I mean, small victories. Yes. We're slowly uh, getting there. So, uh, I don't want to look at our banish zone. So, it sucks. But I think we have like double Kaya Spanish, Treeborn, and Malicious. Yes. Double Kaya Treeborn. Yes. Um, so here's what I'm thinking, because obviously that field doesn't do anything against, uh, Cyber Valley. So we can either return and just attack, or we can just set Mirror Force and just keep, keep praying. I mean, return, believing. like you said, it literally doesn't do a single thing. Yeah. Um, cause there's no tuners in there. Like there's an Infernal Prodigy in there. There's a Treeborn in there. Infernal Prodigy, Treeborn. There's a Caius, malicious. a Malicious. And and I think there's a fifth one. What is the fifth one? He crowed something. He he crowed the R malicious. Right, because he doesn't know we have a second one. Right. Um. What is the last? Anyway, one? the point is the point is whatever that card is, it's not going to get over Cyber Valley. I'm just looking. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking Gores. Yeah, it's not going to go over Cyber Valley. So, yeah, we just got to keep praying. Yeah, this is something. Did he play? <laughs> this is not the game he played heavy. Okay. Yeah, no, he still hasn't pulled into heavy. But, like, all this is fine, right? Like, all this is yeah. fine. As long as he doesn't play Heavy Storm, like, it just does not matter. Or he has Call it a Haunted set or some shit like that. Oh, my God. Why did he put that in defense? I'm annoyed. Uh, I mean, we have to do this. I'm just thinking. What can I draw? Okay. Plague is literally the best draw. That's the one we need? That's the one we need. That's the one we need. What about Diva? Diva's good, too. Plague is a bit better because we have Return, but Diva's good, too. Stratos doesn't get over Cyber Valley. No, but it's something. The problem is he just kills me next turn. So he um, added DD Warrior Lady, right? Yes, and he has Plague Engrave. Oh. Right. So right. I have to do this and just say that he's not going to go for it. Okay. Right? Because, like, I'm not setting my Stratos. That's wild. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's literally the only play. You either summon Stratos or you set Stratos. Like, that's it. Oh, Plague, Diva, they were not coming up. Yeah. I see that this deck is quite frustrating. That it is. I just, oh, like, I got open double malicious and just, I have not seen a water monster. Outside of like Treeborn Frog, Treeborn. which is the worst one to draw. Yep. Oh, good. He's, he's not. He's, he's not playing the win. Yeah, he's sandbagging. He's not playing the win. There it is. There it is. There it is. Finally. Finally, you fuck. Oh my goodness gracious! You know the worst thing you could do though is give a man hope. Listen, I mean, the thing is, at this point, he actually already won. He yes. already won last turn. He was supposed to make Brio. He already won. And now it's like it's our turn to finally do something, you know? So let's think about what to do here. Uh, we have Brain Control, which is dead. We have Return, which we don't want to activate. Uh, yeah, I mean, our only play is Summon Plague. And then after we Summon Plague, we ask him if it's good, and we go off from there. We, we make Brio, obviously, pitch yeah. the Prodigy, and then just, yeah, go off. Yep. I have no idea what his back row is. It could be return. Like, I don't know what his back row is. He hasn't done anything with it all game. Oh, dear God. It's if it's fucking oppression, I'm going to laugh. Oh, I mean, if it's oppression, we lose. 
But have wait, we special how, how long? Game? Yeah, we did. We summoned absolute zero. I'm just not. I'm not sure if that was there. I feel like it was though. I feel like that shit's been sitting there. I feel like that's been sitting there the entire game. Yeah, I think it was there too. Anyway, regardless, whether it's oppression or not, it's literally our only play. So yeah. Yeah, he's fucking sandbagging me. I don't appreciate it. All right. So, what do you think? All right. So good. He doesn't have oppression. So obviously, <laughs> we're gonna pitch the prodigy. And what do you think about returning? Um, it has to be the back row, right? Yeah, I mean, I agree because even though it hasn't done anything, we can make dark end to get rid of the monster. And yeah, the, like mo that. the monster doesn't do shit. Right. I agree. And now our miracle fusion's live, and yes, finally. What miracle fusion? I wish I had one. Uh, yeah, I thought. Yeah, oops, I thought we had one. Um, All right, but anyway, we're good now. All right, so pitch this bounce back row. Then, yep. then we're gonna do the most we, epic return, I guess. Or we're well, gonna we're not gonna return yet. First, we have to stack for plague Correct. to get this malicious. Yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah. Return the back row. All right, let's see what it is. Is there anything? Yo, if he doesn't flip that card up, we have to have to watch the replay to figure out what that was. Is it like transmigration profits? Oh, it's torrential? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that anyway. It kind of sucks because like now we can't use our um plague as much as we would like to. We only get one value out of the plague. But I think it doesn't matter because we have game with return. So it, it actually just doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't think we're killing this guy, if I'm being honest. I mean, we're playing with what we have, right? Yeah, yeah. We're playing to win regardless. But like, this is one of the annoying decks that plays Battle Fader and Gores. So it's like... Gores isn't as much of an issue as uh, uh, Battle Fader. And when we return, we're going to be at, what, 275? So. <laughs> yeah. It's just, oh boy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he's All definitely right. not dying here. Okay, so. All right, uh, we bring back. Beats. Yep. Definitely the malicious. I mean. Yeah. Uh. There's no reason to put it in defense because either it'll get banished or it'll get synchro. Yeah, I'm thinking about something. Let me do some math. Okay. So he's at 53, 53 minus 24. Oh, shit. I can't think right now. So that's why I have to do this stupid shit. Um, oh. 29. I was trying to see if I can make Armory Arm. Right. Because Armory Arm, if I go. Oh, wait, hold on. If I go 53 minus 27 first, and he drops scores, he's at 26. Armory Arm on Caius kills him. That's right. I think the correct play is to go for Armory Arm here. Let me be honest. Because okay. I lose the game. The game's not going any longer than this. And like, yeah, I, I, mean, I, yeah. I get that I could do like the, oh, like, sink here and then I mean, malicious and stuff. But like, what does that even do with a one plague spreader use? Like, that doesn't even do anything. Right. So I think the play is actually synchro here with these to make army arm, equip it to Caius, attack first with, with Gores. Yeah. And that's the game. Like, if he has Battle Fader, I lose. Okay. Um, if he has Gores, cool. I win. I, listen, I'm with it. Okay. I'm with it. All right. I'm with it. I'm with it, Frazier. I'm with it. Did we somehow manage the most stressful duel? If that drops down, oh, uh, well, there it is. That's right. GG's. <sighs> GG's. GG's. Um, yeah. I... Let me if you get a replay, but that was, that was annoying. See if there's anything we could have done differently. I don't think there's much we could have done opening double malicious and then just drawing dead for like eight turns in a row, but yeah. we shouldn't even have been in that game. He gave us a shot. 
What game is this? This is game three. Okay. I'm, why yeah. am I not seeing both? All right. So his hand was correct always. Um, like we we drew un, unplayable. Like we need you to play the game so we can play the game, which is always a terrible position to be in. Right. Uh, unless you're playing frogs because you can just advance your game state with frogs, but, but I can't do that here. So he has mind control valley, which is nice. Brain control Kaya. So his hand is just like combo heaven. Yes. Yes. And then he draws. Okay, he didn't draw into anything that great. Yep. Nope. Okay. okay, so here's Ooh. his most vulnerable point. And it's yes. not even that vulnerable because he's still just holding this. Right. Uh, this was definitely the point we could have won. Like, if this was a diva right here, we win. Diva get yeah i mean we yeah that's just yeah. yeah make a five play miracle you're dead yes that's exactly right or I mean, he could crow he yeah could he, crow, he, he would crow yeah but like still uh he has brain control which doesn't do anything i mean he could make a black rose i guess but his life points would be so low because he would just take too much damage so i i, I mean in hindsight i could have not set this but then, where does that leave me? So it leaves us with a prodigy in our hand, but that doesn't change anything right now. This is the one time it wasn't what we needed it to be. Interesting. Yeah, he had everything. Yeah. All right, mirror force here. <laughs> this was so bad. Yup. Tags, draws. Oh, so yeah, like Adam I said, Fader literally just came. Oh, I mean, it's fair, right? We got our plague. He got our his battle fader. Oh great. my god, this is just like feels bad central. He got our plague. He got his battle fader. Yeah. Oh, that is so annoying. You know what's about. crazy too? We have not pulled Mind Crush or Deck Devi not once. Yeah. And both of those cards, because you have to read, right? Like it was either Battle Fader or Borders. Yeah. And both those cards stop that. But it's just like, we just haven't gotten them. Yeah. Like we haven't if, gotten them. If I, yeah. I'm very and you never signed them out. Nope. You never signed them out. Have not signed them out. Have not drawn them once. Uh, also, just drawing pretty awful in general, I would say. Like, I haven't really been a fan. That's that guy. We play tomorrow, yeah. right? Yeah, no, I'm not yeah, playing you play. again. First one. Also, you play too much Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> like, what's good? How do you get this that? Was, this was the guy who played uh, Monarch, so he locked himself out of. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now I'm coming back. Yeah. I mean, that's just like kind of like. You take the good with the bad when you're playing cards like Malicious, right? Like, it's so good when it resolves, but then, like, when you open up Double Molly, it's very unfortunate. Yeah. This is, I mean, I, I stay in S tier. That's, that's my, I mean, com yeah. my comfort zone. And, and I, I am, uh, I will never <laughs> lie and tell anyone that Diva Heroes S tier. I will never yeah. do that. It's a comfortable like, A tier deck. Oh, there you go. Read and black. Yeah, it's a comfortable A tier deck. All right, green and black. All right, here we go. Last set, last set. We got this. Finally, final. Oh God! <laughs> I will never oh, play this boy. deck in life. Like this one, this one <laughs> never ever. This deck is fucking awful. Oh my God! Like, and it's like all these cards you drew, you have to play them. Oh my God! That's so hilarious. This deck is so bad, Cairo. <laughs> oh man. I mean, yeah, yeah. All right, All right so banishing? you're banishing Plague uh, because you need the Caius to resolve to get your deck Debbie out. You're normal summoning Spine Gilman and you're praying. Are you fucking serious? I'm not joking. There's oh no other play. God. There's literally no other play. 
I can't set it. it. I have to summon it. I mean, you can set it, but then like it's, you would actually like, summon this, like no joke. If I was playing tournament, I'm not kidding. I would summon it. But if you want to set it, like Am I, I hear this? you. Uh, I don't. I don't usually set it, and uh, yeah, you can set it to scare but I usually don't set it unless I can activate it. But but like harder. putting a Gilman out there with nothing, yeah. It's, I it's look like a too... fucking fool right now. I know. I mean, like, I'm sorry, Fraser. That's the deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this this is frustrating. This is like like I'm getting I'm getting mad. Wow. Oh man, he's gonna have a grandmaster. There's no way he doesn't have Grandmaster. Not you losing the six fans. Oh, look, 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 it worked out, Fraser! That's <laughs> <laughs> why you don't say it, Fraser! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, this is so fucking awful. Alright, well, I mean, wait, 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 wait. I, I know you want a heavy, but like, if you heavy, you don't get value out of I mean, I guess against six fans. Who gives a fuck out. about Deck Devi? We're done with that. Okay. All right. Do your thing. You gotta be do kidding. Your you are shitting thing. me. Do your thing. Do your thing. Twenty one. Do your thing. He talking about some. Oh, you don't get. You don't get value. Who gives a fuck about value right now? All right. Do your thing. All right. Well, anyway, you're good, right? So no, you got a I'm lot not, of Cairo. You could uh, summon Sangan and attack. I mean, I don't really see a reason to summon Caius right now. And look at that. You just beat them down with small monsters. People always underestimate that pitchfork, okay? The I pitchfork. want you to go look. straight to hell. Yeah. <laughs> yes! The normal summon spy Gilman this is getting such there. a meme, bro. Wow. All right. He runs over Sagan. again. That's fine. This is never so correct. Can, I don't know who told him that this was wrong. okay. Yeah. You can search out your hero because your Miracle Fusion is dead. Also, you need to play one crow. I don't care what you say. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, you just literally are pulling the worst. Steve You're literally pulling the worst I've ever seen anyone fucking um, pool. Alright, come on. Oh, okay. So look, he can't beat over Spine Gilman. 17's too much. 17's too much. You and him can both eat my ass. Damn, not the whole ass. Yeah. Uh, I'm about the black. Yeah, I'm not play. even kidding. Okay, sure, that's fine. No, that's a bit it's, much. It's a, it's, a, it's a two for two. I I would just end my turn because he's not doing anything, and like I don't want to run into a starlight star bright. But you know, yeah. you do have an alpha starlight next turn, but not this turn. So I just don't think. Oh God! I think you just rock out. Like I think he's. Oh you know, Lord! Never again. <laughs> Oh, look, see, you won! You won! I hate your right, enthusiasm. Man. I hate everything about this. <laughs> that pitchfork yeah. is quite sharp. Fucking awesome. Yes! Unreal. <laughs> Frazier's like, you're, are you kidding? You're like, you really summon Spine Gilman? I'm like, yes, if this is tournament, I'm summoning Spine Gilman. Listen, I was just going to stay muted for this, but I, I can't contain myself <laughs> with Frazier right now. <laughs> you know I'm going through it right now. Like, you know I am. <laughs> I was gonna let it be you too, but I literally can't. I've been dying, crying of laughter. I am literally <laughs> having a really bad experience. Oh man! You saw Duck Debbie and Cairo's like, "Yay!" and then Brian Gilman came in. <laughs> oh boy! And this is why I was saying all the time. I was like, "Future Fusion, it's really good." It gets How to that can the hands be this inconsistent? How can one hand be this and another yep. hand be what I just drew last game? Well, I mean, this hand's even, it's good, but it's not as good as you think. Because I was saying, like, when you open up Future Fusion, but the Molly's in your hand, it's just like, <sighs> you sigh a little bit. But anyway, you're in a good, yeah, good situation. Yeah, I'm not about to complain about drawing uh, yeah. Stratos in my opening hand ever. There you go. There you go. Yep. I can see it to the future, baby. Nope, oh, that's a no. No Dasso Raven. He was not a fan. He did not like that show. Yo, he only plays one monster in his deck. In his hand of the 6 hand Rye. What's happening? He doesn't play any other monsters. I'm about to he lose the fucking... Play. You're going to go summon Caius. He's going to go bottomless. He's going to draw a monster. He's going to win. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another option. Yeah, okay. Another option here, because you didn't pull in a spy Gilman for once, is uh, Black Rose as well. So you got a few different plays. You can either go Caius or you can go Black Rose. Did Mama raise a bitch or no? <laughs> Did Mama raise a bitch? The thing is, if he has bottomless here, he can bottomless spy Gilman, but he's probably. Oh, you know he will. He just bottomless a fucking Stratos. A lot of people, because they see 1300, they don't realize that he's strong enough to bottomless. See? So, yeah. But anyway, like, yeah, you, you come this far, so we're going to go all the way. Solemn is okay, but you know what? Starlight, star bright. There it is. Starlight, star bright. And, yep. Nice duck. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you're going first now. You don't want to put Dushy back in, or you're good? He set so many back row. If I don't draw a turn one, it's, it's bad. Okay. I feel you. I feel you. I hate stuff like that. Um, I'll take these out, though. Yeah, no, I would. This is what I love my S tier decks because they just like invalidate all this bullshit. Like, imagine me playing frogs against this right now. And then he loses. He would, he can't even begin to win the game. Like, yeah, he's set dupe frog is an OTK. All right, well, there you go. Someone's fine. Gilman was an OTK. It was actually, which is wild. So, you know, dupe frog is just doing the most. <laughs> uh, it's definitely this guy's yeah. hand. Yep. Yep. You don't want to search malicious unless you have an easy way to discard it. Ooh, mind crushing. <laughs> the thing is, he's playing uh, in, you know, the more recent exams, they're playing like uh, the Rota for level 3 or lower monsters, so it's like much easier to guess what they're playing, but you know, this deck, who knows? He might just have the raw Rota. He might just go raw Rota, and we might just figure it out. You might just have the raw rota. But we're we're cool with this. Oh look, that's cool. That searches out like his whole deck basically. So uh, we'll definitely know. Thinking. Yeah. I definitely think we do torrential this field because yeah. it's gonna get nasty. And like we could get rid of that gateway. Gateway isn't as broken in this format as it is in six Sam format. The format that's called six sand, it's not as it's not as broken as this one, or 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 it's or it's less powerful in this format than the format named after the deck. <laughs> Who would have thought it? And it's crazy because in six sand format, gateways actually at one, but in this format, gateways at uh, three. But it like it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Ooh, ooh, no freebies. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm not having fun. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh what can I even draw? Diva? Not that. Not that. This plague might might get stacked for Kaius. That's what's happening. <laughs> that's what has to happen. <laughs> Not that. I will say, oh boy, he's getting his cards left and right, left and right. I'm what is that? Sol I'm probably solving that. Because you don't want him to get the two, uh, two draws as well. Yeah, makes sense. I will say that when you summoned Caius, you didn't have to attack. You could have just passed your turn, and on your turn, oh, summon Plague. Off. Summon Plague, make Startup, <laughs> pop Dark Arm. And then you'd have a start of Stark Arm with a solid. I'm not set. trying to hear that. that. You didn't even voice that even a little bit. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just hindsight's saying. 2020. Real nice. Anyway, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> All right. You know? I don't want to hear a that true from villain. right now. Uh, a true villain's coming out. I'll say, okay, if I solemn that, then he goes attack face down. And then I draw, I stack, I tribute for Kyrus. <laughs> And I'm Kai Singh's backer. Okay, yeah, we're solving this. This is too much. 
You know, honestly, when you said I draw, I thought you were going to say, and I draw something horrible. <laughs> no, I didn't say all that. I thought that's what you were going to say. Come on. Yeah, all he has to do is attack. Oh, that's why he okay. can do it for one. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I don't, that doesn't change anything. Okay, even better. He did Look at that. Attack. Well, now. Works out perfect. Now you just get reamed, right? Yeah. So we clearly do this. There's no point in waiting. Yep. All right. We have two darks, I believe. I do. All right, so what are you doing here, Cairo? Since you, oh, I mean, at this point, what, what's what's your set again? Smile crush. crush. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm attacking. Like, oh, now you're attacking. Interesting. I think. I, mean, I think you make Stardust because you have Dust Tornado for the back row, so you can like attack with Stardust uh, next turn, chain Dust if it's like awesome. deep prison. It's also not bad too. You could stack for Plague, make Stardust because he doesn't have Torrential, and then don't attack. Then don't <laughs> attack, and then next turn start attacking. Because six Sams in this format, they don't have an easy way to deal with Stardust outside of D Prison. Yeah, I think the play is 100% make Stardust. Yeah, I'm, I'm with if, that too. If this, if this Kaius dies, it's, you, you're, you're getting hit with the hand. He's going to backhand you. <laughs> yeah. So y'all really think right now it's Stack Dark Arm, Summon, summon Plague Spreader, Sync for Stardust. Don't, don't attack. attack, set Dust Nado pass. That's the play. Listen, listen, I'm just gonna say, you know, as the person who may know the second most about Diva Hero, I think that's <laughs> I think that's your only good play. These are the worst plays I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> well, you're playing the worst deck, according this to you. This is insane. <laughs> so... <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Another option, right, is you could also make Thought Ruler. That's I'm well. like, how was it not Thought Ruler? Another option is you can also make Thought Ruler. Thought Ruler is not bad because if he mirror forces, you're happy. If he torrentials, you're happy. And if it's a you know battle trap like Deep Prison, then so I'm okay with Thought Ruler as well. Thought Ruler is actually probably better because if Thought Ruler gets outed, you have Dark Arm. So I think Thought Ruler is actually better than Stardust. yeah. But Thought Ruler can get bottomless. I mean, yeah, that's true too. So but if he has I, bottomless, I think I think some in Stardust said Dust Tornadoes. The, the thing is, from the most things if he had bottomless he would have used it on the Caius because we saw he used it on stratos before true 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 listen this guy could be that slow where he's just he's just bottomlessing things just because it's it's sunday um well i so this is what i think there's no one card that he could draw yeah he's allowed to draw can. let him draw okay. yeah <clears throat> Oh, he's okay. trying to be a harsh. <laughs> I probably can't. Damn. You probably can't say that. Damn. He's trying to get me canceled. He's trying to get me canceled. Okay, I'll put it. I'll put it. Like, I'm on, I'm on a true hero channel. Let me get this guy out of here. <laughs> well, we are true. We are a true villain. Oh, um, <laughs> We are a true villain. Just, uh, just draw. Because you still have Dust Tornado to dodge the, uh, the back row, right? Well, I can, I can I, see it now. Um, why would you see it now if if he doesn't activate it? So if you go yeah. attack and he doesn't activate it, you have a dust tornado to dodge uh, brain control. So wait, <laughs> what's the play now? Now I'm gonna go attack, think... see what happens, and if he activates like a deep prison, I'm gonna go dust tornado save my stardust. Yeah, because it could just be a dead card, right? Because who knows what it is? I see what you're thinking, Fraser. We just dust tornado it now and then run it over. But like, let's say we, we go with uh. You know the play that me and Stanger are talking about. Then he has to draw. He basically he have to that have to be D prison brain control off the top for in order for you to lose. Okay. So I'm not dusting this right now. No, I think you attack draw. and make make him use it. I'm going yep. to attack. Yep. And then if it's if it's D prison, just save your stardust. Yep. Un fucking real. Because <laughs> if it's yeah, it's a dead card. Yeah. Look, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they call me a true hero mini version. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
I've mentioned this before, but I play Stango more than any other. Oh, that, oh, was, that, that was a that was a great yeah. card. Yeah, now the game's falling stop apart. Lying? Now, <laughs> now the game's falling Y'all apart. Y'all are fucking just sitting here lying to me and acting like <laughs> like I'm just. I can't even You're say recording. Him. I can't even say what I really want to say because I already slipped once. So <laughs> you're steamrolling them now. Falling apart. Like it's you're, over. You're steamrolling them. Yeah, there it is. All right, we're done. We can call. We can, we can call <laughs> wait, right. wait, you don't have does to tell tor- me that we're done. Wait, does Tornado it before he ends the game? I oh. just big, well, I can still do it. Oh, I guess yeah. it, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna see what it yeah, is. Yeah, I Yeah, I wanted to see what it was. <laughs> That was a that was a more that was a morale dust tornado, by the way. It was. I want to see what the five back row reset turn one were. Okay. Okay. So he just gave me the hands. This is game two. Yeah. Yeah, this is where yeah, he I just want to see I just want to see how I lost. Oh, it's the back rows weren't anything. Yeah. So wow, if you were the highest play, then actually you would have been in a better situation. Yeah. Well you're the That's one who crazy. recommended it. Oh no, he had bottomless there. So he did have bottomless there. He just drew it. Still been in a better situation than Black Rose though. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Black Rose is cope. That is true. It was copio. It was copio. But we never got to resolve our mind crush or deck debut. But you know what? It's okay. This deck never draws Grandmaster. I noticed. Wait, I mean, every time I play it, it draws Grandmaster. I've never seen Grand. You've noticed I beat this deck every time I play it because they never draw Grandmaster ever, not once. I mean, he was gonna he was gonna search out a Grandmaster, but you were like, no. To oh, yeah, this way. is this is the play where Cairo, you know, he said you shouldn't have attacked. Yeah. Yes, after at like right. like forty yeah. minutes after I attacked oh, and got my shit banished, he was like, "Yeah, you probably 30, shouldn't attack." Thirty, like, 30 years you. after, thirty years after, you shouldn't attack. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face! And you this is where you were freaking out about our Stardust. Oh shit, play. it was a dust radio. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, it was a dust radio. Like that was it. He he lost. The game was over. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot to play this. Well now, Ooh. well now I. You know what? Oh, he got oh, he did draw a Grandmaster. And you know what? Correction, you know what, Fraser? He did draw a Grandmaster. And that and that's why heroes always win. Because we that's know we know how to pilot the deck, you know? That's right. That's exactly Look at that right. Stardust. He isn't play. getting brain controlled. <laughs> he's not getting yeah. depressed. <laughs> yeah, he's chilling. He's a big fan. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, All right. Well, I mean, I guess before we start our casual talk, we could uh just wrap this up. Yeah. I thought they did it, I thought they did it like copies whatever happens if I keep going. Oh, you're talking about the replay? Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing it like update more after the duel was already over and stuff, but I guess Yeah, I think until both players leave it's it doesn't it it keeps going. Yeah, I remember seeing like this will keep updating. Like if you start drawing cards but I guess it's not doing it. Whatever. Maybe if you refresh it, but who knows. Yeah, it's not worth it. I don't care that much. But yeah, you're probably right. If I refresh it, I, I guess that now view replay would like make it more accurate. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay. Yep. Anyway, well, I don't have much positive to say, so I'm just gonna leave you guys with subscribe to a True Heroes channel, um, and then subscribe to my channel at I Am Nerd Podcast on YouTube and on all platforms. We have a podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Google Podcasts, Amazon, all that good stuff. Me and Kenny talk about nerd shit, anime, video games, OnlyFans. That's right. You heard it over here. OnlyFans. Uh, we talk about everything. We we love to just nerd out. And yeah, um, that's about all I got. This is Fraser Smith. I am getting the fuck off of this deck. I'm going right back to this tier. <laughs> may, may, you all, safe, may, you all make, <laughs> may you all not draw your Gilmans and Mallies. Yes, even though we're straight up soloed Six Samurai tonight. <laughs> but like okay we almost lost the hands just yes. hands just hands was enough so all right <laughs>